Welcome to That Tattoo Show. I'm Paul, and this week I'm going to install a Brother printer on a Windows computer. I'm not a Windows user, so this may or may not be a nightmare. I'll see you after the intro. Okay, so here we are on the Windows computer and we're going to head over to support.brother.com and that's where we're going to find the software to get these printers installed. Okay, so select the download tab and then you can either select your printer from that list there where it says mobile printers or you can put in the model number of the printer that you want to install and just hit search. It's a pretty decent website and it will recognize your operating system for you so you don't have to go through Mac and Windows, different things like that. And then all you've got to do is select the printer that you want and you'll end up at this page. For some reason, there's no combined installer for all of the various bits and pieces that you need to get this printer working. So you have to download all of the various elements separately and then run them. Or that's what I thought. So I went ahead and did what I would normally do on a Mac and downloaded all the various elements and then went to open them from the local hard drive in order to install them. It was at this point that I was faced with this folder with all these unreadable file names. I mean, that means nothing to me. It would be much better if it said Ptouch update or firmware updater or printer driver, but they don't. So I thought, well, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare. But then I discovered something about Windows boxes that I actually quite like. Instead of clicking on save when I hit download, I decided to click run instead and just run them from the website. Now, if you're a Windows user, you're probably well aware of this and I would recommend that you do it this way around. This is the Brother official website, so it's very unlikely that you'll run into any problems. So as you can see, the first step is to install the printer driver and select your printer model from the list. And then you'll be faced with the download, hit next, turn your machine on, plug it in via USB, and then the computer will get on with doing its thing, installing it for you. Don't forget to hit finish. <laughs> And then the other tool that we want to download is the printer setting tool. Again, agree and run rather than agree and download because then you don't have to deal with those crazy file names and you can just run it straight from the website. And then just sit back and wait for it to download and extract itself. And I think you just have to click next once, I think. And obviously, don't forget to press finish again. The first job after you've installed both the printer driver and the printer setting tool is to go into the start menu, find the printer setting tool and head over to device settings. Yeah, it took me a second to find that. And then once it's retrieved the settings from the printer, obviously the printer needs to be on and plugged in via USB at this point, you need to find the maintenance tab. And then when you go down the maintenance tab, you'll see stencil paper mode there. You need to just select that and confirm that stencil mode is on. On mine, it was on by default, but I've been installing them on loads of different computers everywhere, so it may not be on yours. Make sure that's on, apply the settings, and then you can leave this control panel. I'm gonna come back to the control panel settings in another video and go through all the printer setting tools options. And then the last step before you start printing stencils is to head over to the control panel Select um, printers. What's that? Yeah, view printers and something else. Uh, select your printer, and then I guess we're gonna select print in preferences. Hopefully, God, it's taking me a while to figure out which one's which. Maybe we'll do printer properties. Hang on a minute, Paul. No, we'll do printer preferences. So if you go to the advanced tab, you'll see there. Uh, there's mirror print and reverse print. Now I'm gonna presume that mirror print means flip horizontal and reverse print means flip vertically so you want to select the mirror print tab and that means that the printer will then automatically flip your artwork for you without you having to worry about it in photoshop or illustrator or whatever you're using okay so after you've installed your 773 using usb the final step is to get it working on your wi-fi network so right click on the printer in the control panel 
select properties and in the final tab select web services. Click on the printer's web page which is that IP address that starts with HTTP and then you'll be directed to this page in your browser. You'll need to input the default login which is admin so you might want to change that straight after you watch this and then you want to navigate over to wireless and then down to wireless personal once the page is loaded up then you just want to find the wireless network name SSID and select browse find your wireless network in my case it's no one famous on channel one and then click submit and that's it your brother printer should be installed on your windows computer and it should be ready to go now if you've got any other questions then you can drop them down in the comments box down below while you're doing all that sort of stuff if this has been useful give us a thumbs up if you've really enjoyed the content and you want to see more you can consider subscribing if you do subscribe hit that little bell icon because apparently it does something whatever i'll see you next week thank you